So looking at the green coefficient of a polynomial, a polynomial is a type of function. It's a type of function with many terms, and loosely polynomial means many terms. And we've got a generic one here, p of x. You can see that it's a bunch of terms added together. This, this one has an indeterminate number because they can range from one term up to many, many, many terms. It's got every term basically has the format of a coefficient, which is a real number, times x to a power. So the n, you see, it's no accident that there's an n there and there. They're corresponding. The n superscript up here, of course, is a power, and it has to be a whole number. A whole number is, is natural numbers plus zero. So it can be from x to the zero up to any whole number, um, which which is above zero. Of course, whole whole numbers, natural numbers, are above zero. <clears throat> so you won't see x to the half or x to the negative seven. The coefficient, which on the front here, this one's called a sub n. The n is just a label. All right, it's the uh, it's just tells you. Um, the labeling of it, it'll be some number, but it's not a power like the index, it's just a label or a name. And the a is just a symbol denoting that it's a coefficient. So this coefficient, a with its label, this coefficient is a just any real number. So you can have numbers um, in positive, negative, fractional it's got to be from the real number set which is pretty much everything that we look at in math methods so um, the thing is that the the only thing that that first coefficient on the front this first one and only applies to this first one the first one can't be equal to zero otherwise it won't be it won't actually be there zero times anything is zero it ceases to exist in terms of being a term so the number zero is called the zero polynomial because zero is zero times x to the zero and x to the zero is one zero times one is zero the leading term of a polynomial is the first term and the one that I scribbled all over there is the first term so I'm just going to declutter that and there we go the one that I just decluttered that's the first term, that's the leading term. Now the degree of a polynomial is based on how big the index is in the leading term. So if we had 2x cubed plus 7x, the leading term is that, because it's got the highest power, that only has x to the 1. And see how you can skip terms? Um, well maybe you couldn't on that one, but if that was 2x cubed, not 2x squared, if I change that to a 3, that's still a polynomial. It, can, it doesn't have to have every term. So that's a bit misleading. Like that's saying, oh, you have to have one below it. You don't actually have it. have to. It, or, or another way of saying that, the coefficient of that would be 0, and which would leave gaps. So you'd have to just go on to uh, n minus 2 if it exists. One way of saying it is that all the terms exist. Some of them have a coefficient of 0, which means visually they don't show up. That are, they're not written. Next thing um, after degree of polynomial, which is how big the largest index is, monics uh, are polynomials. Uh, for example, here's a quadratic. So x squared plus 2x minus 1. That's monic because the coefficient it's not 0, you can't see it because it's 1. This one is not a monic because it has its leading term with not a coefficient of 1. The constant term is the term on the end. It's uh, basically part of a polynomial because negative 1 is negative 1 x to the 0, which is negative 1 times 1. So there's a few things there, and some of the common ones we've seen have been quadratics, but linear functions are a polynomial and so are constant functions. Cubics, 
cortex which we'll see and the leading term is x squared on a quadratic so it'll be a2 x squared plus a1 x to the 1 plus a0 x to the 0 which doesn't get written usually okay and so what if it's minus what if it's um 3x cubed minus 7 that's a polynomial well that means that you'd have a sub 3x cubed you'd have you'd have your squares and your linear ones but they have a coefficient of 0 then you'd have 7 you'd have plus negative 7 to make that minus so it's always plus and away okay um, so it, it is a polynomial so I'll change that one back to a 3 for you just to be consistent so you've got all that there fitting so there's three examples but it doesn't stop at cortex it goes to quintex and it does you know it keeps going you can have co a polynomials with degree 6 7 etc um, and goes below quadratics linear and constants are po polynomials as well